Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Welcome to my brand new Let's Play series, Let's Play Rocket League. The game where driving and soccer meet up somewhere in the middle to create a truly unique, futuristic sporting experience. And I'll tell you right now, ever since I bought this game a little while back, I have truly loved virtually every moment of it. This is a game that I fell in love with so fast, and it's literally one of the most fun games that I have played in years. Shouts to the people at Psyonix for truly making a great title. There's so much to love about this game. Like, visually, it's just simply gorgeous. Like, look at the, the, the attention to detail on the cars, really good. There's individual blades of grass swaying around. If you look at the environment in the back in the grandstand, you got people with different colored shirts and different colored flags waving them around. You can see the separation of fan bases for people rooting for their respective teams. You've got um, people in the stands are actually moving, which is cool. You don't really see that very often in sports games. You've got pieces of confetti that are falling down randomly at different depths on the screen. you got blur back there to show distance. Uh, I just I love a game that really pays attention to really small details like that. It's really cool. I love the menu music. I could sit here and listen to that shit all day. I, it's very chill and relaxed, and I love her voice. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I have spent way more time than I really needed to listening to it, but it's really good like that, man. And then probably the most important thing about this game is the gameplay aspect, obviously. It's a game that is wonderfully easy to learn, but very tough to master, and I think that's really important for a game like this. For people that are brand new to the game, you can totally get the, the control scheme and the basic idea of what you're doing down in just a couple of minutes. And then uh, the real challenge is on after that, just learning how to hone your skills and get better. Um, but the other thing about this is that this might be one of the most crisp and responsive games that I've played in a while. Like, I've never, I've never had a time playing this where I felt, man, I really wish that the controls were a little bit tighter. Or, you know, I was trying to do this and ended up doing something else, or, or just like, you know, things seemed a little bit shoddy. Like, I've never had that feeling once. Just everything about this game is just right on point. So I have really no gripe at all. Um, it's, it's truly great, man. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So ideally what I want to do in this game are, uh, are two things, actually. I, I want to play this game in season mode on one of the harder difficulties. Um, as you can see, I've already played this game a little bit. I'm, I'm a level 14 semi-pro. So I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm the best player in the world, because I'm not. But I'm not an amateur either. I, I am still learning to an extent. So I think that playing season mode on the hardest difficulty would be a fun, a fun challenge for me. And it would be a cool way for you guys to get some exposure to the game. And so hopefully we can uh, play through the season and be successful and then win the championship. Uh, that's my ultimate goal for that. And then the other thing that I really want to do is I also, for the first time ever on this channel, I also want to play some online ranked matches. I've, I've never really been much of an online gamer, really, in my life, um, but I played my first online match of this back on Friday, and I had a total blast, man. It was so much fun. I just, I love being able to play with other people across the world in a fairly casual setting. I didn't play any ranked ones. I just played, like, the regular, in the regular lobby. But it was, it was really fun, man. So I think it'd be a really cool uh, little switch up for this channel to do something like that for a change. So we'll definitely do that uh, in the future. I think we'll play some stuff in season mode for a little bit first so I can, uh, you know, get comfortable with playing, um, you know, on a higher level so I can just kind of hone my skills a little bit and get ready for uh, that type of challenge. But uh, I am currently playing right now with the DLC pack that they just released a few days ago, the Supersonic Fury one. I'm actually using one of the cars that they made available called uh, Takumi, which I'm pretty sure is actually just a Toyota Supra. Uh, that's at least what the front of it looks like. So they've got two new cars, two new Rocket Boost graphics, new uh, two new wheel sets, five new uh, paint jobs. They involved a new uh, Coliseum to play in. They have spectator mode, so which I think really comes in handy when you're playing in online mode. You can watch other people play. Um, and then they also added like some new country flag stuff for uh, for graphic stuff in your garage. So pretty sweet, man. They they added some uh, some really cool things here. I don't have everything unlocked yet, and I only have I think 66% of the trophies in this game. So while we're playing, I'll undoubtedly unlock a couple more of those. So I don't have all the cars yet. Um, I don't have all of the uh, the paint jobs just yet. 
I've got all but three of the wheel sets in this game at this point. Um, the two main categories, though, that we're going to improve on during this are going to be Rocket Trail graphics. So you can see I've got quite a few missing there. We've got all but just a couple toppers. And then Antenna is actually the biggest category that we need to improve on. So we will eventually get all of those, and we'll get the trophy for, com uh, for collecting all of the items in the game. So that'll be pretty sweet when that happens. But we're going to roll with this car, though. I really like it. It's probably my favorite one in the game at this point. So, <laughs> really quick, before we get started in Season Mode, I want to show you something in uh, in Rookie Mode that I found really funny while I was, while I was uh, learning to play this game. I played uh, Rookie Mode in Season when I first started playing this, and I ended up going 29-0, and this is part of the reason why. <laughs> in the wise words of Louis C.K., I learned that I could do this every time. Like, if you are remotely... If you're remotely aggressive when you're coming out on the quote-unquote kickoffs, you will score every single time. Like, that is all you have to do, and you will score every single time. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I, uh, because when you're playing on rookie mode, like, the the AI, the, the opposing AI, they don't really use their, uh, their nitro very much, and they won't use it at all during the kickoffs. So if you use yours just a little bit, they, they pretty much won't challenge you at all, and they're just stupid enough that their goalie has literally no idea what he's doing back there. <laughs> so that is one reason why this game has such a small learning curve is that you will win games very easily and it gives you a very good opportunity to uh, figure out what you're doing. Even when they put you at the angle like this, if you're good with uh, with angling your car, you will pretty much, like I said, you will score virtually every time. I mean, they may block it a time or two, but 99 times out of 100, you will score using that technique. So I just wanted to show that guy that to you guys. I thought it was really funny. I had a couple of games where I I scored like ten goals in probably like thirty seconds. <laughs> it was it was pretty crazy. Uh, and even even when I played through season mode on pro, which is a lot harder, you definitely can't get away with that technique in pro mode. They will not allow you to do it. Um, I definitely still went thirty three and five in there. Um, I started up one uh, a season mode on All Star. I never actually did anything with it, so we're just going to start up a new one here, and then we'll uh, we'll get down to business. So what we're going to do is we're going to do standard three v three. That's the way they normally do it. Four on four seems a little bit too congested, especially at the highest difficulty. I'm probably probably wouldn't do too hot there. Two on two would be pretty wild. One on one really wouldn't be as fun to watch, I think. So we'll just go with the standard. We'll do uh, 36 weeks and a playoff size of six teams. Uh, there are 10 in the league, so as long as you can finish in the top six, you will make it to the playoffs. And then, uh, as much as I love that murdered out Pharaoh there, he's really freaking tight looking. I think I've I've always wanted to have a team with this with this white and purple combo. I uh, I tr I personally love that uh, that logo and that color scheme especially because the turf that you play in it has it ends up getting that purple and white hue and it's oh I love it so instead of having the cyclone let's have something a little more menacing sounding let's go with the uh, with the hypercane whoops it's uh, paying paying tribute to uh, one of my favorite drum and bass songs by uh, DJ fresh Love it. So we're going to roll with uh, with Hollywood and Heater. These two are my dogs, man. Both of these guys have gotten me out of some real jams over over my time playing this game. So let's get down to business, my friends. Let's let's play our first game. So that's probably really all we're going to have time for in this opening episode. But you guys will at least get the general, the general idea of what's going on here. So I'll try to show you some of the mechanics while I'm at it. Because um, it's going to get pretty intense after that. Oh, I love that purple on the ground there. It looks so cool. So each uh, each game is only five minutes long, which I think is another really cool thing about this. These games don't just draw out forever. Uh, and you have a turbo gauge down there on the bottom right corner of this, and you can uh, you know drive, you can go backwards. Your car can jump, which is an extremely important mechanic of this game. Um, let's clear this thing out of here real quick. Oh no! Oh god! Okay, I'm getting way too close for comfort there. <laughs> um, yeah, so you can jump, you can do barrel rolls like this, you can do back flips and front flips, and that really comes in handy for being able to attack the ball. Oh, we scored! Hollywood! Whoop whoop! God, see what I'm saying, dude? Hollywood's the dog. Mainly because he's got that awesome uh, dollar sign topper on, on his antenna there. That's, that's the real thing. 
The other thing too is you can kind of see, uh, you can see the roof up there, and you can actually totally drive on that, which I think is a really cool thing. All right, let's let's actually start attacking a little bit. So you can drive up the walls, which is awesome. You can drive on the roof, which is another really cool facet of this. Oh no! <laughs> Crap! Oh, that's what I. That's what happens when I'm trying to teach you guys everything that's going on here. Um, and then these little little orange pods on the ground, uh, those will replenish your turbo. So, definitely really important to uh, keep in mind that. Um, because another thing that you can use that turbo for outside of just being able to drive faster, nice shot by the way, is you can demolish uh, rival cars. I think you can also accidentally do it to your own. Uh, but if you do it, you can totally blow up your opposition. Super cool when it happens. It won't take them out of the match permanently. It'll only they'll only be gone for for just a moment, um, but just long enough to where that could potentially really make a big impact in your match. So um, I've definitely had it happen to me, and I've done it to them numerous times, and it ended up being awesome. Come on, baby! Oh, oh God! Nice save by that guy, because that was that was most certainly a goal, no doubt about it. Oh shit! Oh, shit. Come on, heater. Come on. <laughs> Gotta get to that thing, son. Ooh, nice save. He did it. He did get there. Oh, shit. God. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This could work. Possibly. Oh, damn it. It's a little too early. Those are really the only two things that I'm still trying to uh, get down at this point. Oh, shit. Oh, God. I ruined it. <laughs> damn. Ugh. Son of a bitch. Um, yeah, two things that I'm still really trying to actively improve on are is my timing for uh, for those for those hits specifically, and uh, my defense around the goal area. Oh my god, <laughs> that's exactly what I'm saying, man. My goalkeeping is absolutely atrocious. Th those are really the only two parts of this. God, I missed it by just a half an inch. Uh, those are the only two parts that I really struggle at in this game, but I will get there. I really will. I mean, at this point, at this point, you could pretty much, you could pretty much, um, oh no, god damn it, I, I got, I got way too passive on that, I should have just gone for it. Man, we had a nice quick lead of, of 2 nothing there, and that really got away from me. <laughs> I mean, they scored four goals really fast. They're pretty much, that's like the, yeah, welcome to all-star, bitch. <laughs> You're... You're in, uh, you're in our domain now, dog. Here we go. I got a chance, though. There we go. Well done, Heater. I'll get the, I'll take the assist for that, for sure. I'm definitely, I'm not always trying to be the MVP here of, of scoring. You know, if, if it happens, then it happens. I just, this is a, this is a point where teamwork really is the more important thing here. Being selfish and trying to get your own, your own stats up really won't help you much here. That was something that you could totally get away with it. boy, tie game! Yeah! Uh, that was something you could totally, you know, be an asshole about that sometimes in uh, in rookie and pro. Uh, but here, it's not really as important, man. If you want to win the title, you just you just got you gotta you definitely gotta get your uh, play, you know, play with your other teammates. You gotta get them involved as much as possible. Especially at my current position right now. Shit, that was a really good setup. If I sh I should have really just used my turbo to get over there immediately. I didn't do it though. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, score, baby! Yeah! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Oh, very rarely on kickoffs, especially after pro difficulty, do you really ever get away with that. I. That's the first time I've ever gotten away with, with scoring a goal on the kickoff like that. It just, it happens so infrequently. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. All right, going right towards the middle of the field. I need to get some more, uh, some more boost. These ones that have the ball on the outside of it like that, uh, those will actually totally refill your gauge. So they've got one on both sides of, uh, of midfield, and they also have them in the corners too. So always important to know. Oh, oh I, oh, I actually did get that bicycle hit. I didn't know if I actually had pulled it off or not. Oh, damn it, that guy got in the way. <laughs> oh, come on, baby. Come on. Oh, shit, no. Oh no! No! Oh, I couldn't get there fast enough. Oh man, I don't even think I would have been able to stop it anyways, even if I did really get there in time. But I didn't have the right angle for it anyways. 
Oh, fuck you, Boomer. Jesus, man. This is uh, quite the high-scoring affair. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, boy. I thought that was gonna... I thought that was gonna be one that just caromed in. Shit. Oh, thank you, Heater. Oh. Oh, my God. Man, they really took control of that immediately. <laughs> they weren't having none of that. They are like, Ah, you think you're gonna fuck around and beat us, huh? Ah, I don't think so. Well, it looks like our very first match in All-Star mode might turn out to be a uh, one and one for the loss column. Get in there, got a boy. I mean, I didn't, I didn't get credit for that goal. But that's fine. I mean, we, we got to score. We got to do it fast, for sure. <laughs> one thing I haven't figured out quite yet, though, as far as uh, this particular map is concerned. Jesus Christ, man, that fast. Man, they are. It's like they're just toying with me right now. Is I mean, obviously this is a controlled dome, like, they've got a ceiling on this, yet somehow there's still rain piping in here. <laughs> I always I always found that to be really weird for this one, or for really any of these, uh... Get in there! Yeah! I ain't letting us die just yet, damn it. We're having the thriller in Manila, even though there's no Manila in here at all. And this isn't a boxing match. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus! Get, that, get it out of here, man! Huh. Oh! Oh, yeah. Okay. God, it sounds like I've got, like, raging diarrhea or something right now. There we go. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. No, I said get it out of here, damn it. Just get that shit away. God, we can't get it out of this area. It's driving me crazy. But I don't mean, like, Britney Spears. Son of a bitch. That will do it. Ugh. Once again, my timing failed me. If I would have just gotten that thing away, I just I got I got so up in trying to do the flip move to, to clear it that I I didn't wait that extra fraction of a second. Okay, let's see if we can do it. I mean, obviously, I don't think we're gonna win this one just yet. This will be the first time in my career that I've uh, surrendered this many goals. We almost had a chance to score right there. Come on, Heater! Damn it. Oh, he's uh, right on track to potentially score again. As long as we don't give up 10. I've never given up 10 goals ever. And I don't plan on starting right now. Oh. Sweet God in heaven. Not very often that you score 7 goals in this game and lose. <laughs> but what do you do, man? That's just uh, that's what happens. Not a very warm reception to, to begin our, our quest to win the title. Those uh, those guys are pretty damn good. God, that guy scored five goals on six shots. <laughs> painfully, painfully efficient. My hat's off to the Mammoths, man. That was a good-ass match. That was, that was very good. I look forward to what this will bring. All right, my friends. Well, we have completed week one. And uh, it's going to be hard. I can already tell. This is, this is significantly harder than pro. Um, for sure. If we would have scored seven goals in pro, we would have we would have easily taken that by four goals or more. So, all right, my friends, this has been your host AMF1534 saying thank you guys for watching. I hope you stick around for this series. It's going to be a blast, man. I, I I'm I'm really going to have a lot of fun with this, and I think you guys will too. So I hope to see you guys in the future. But until then, this is AMF saying thank you guys, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye.